Hello everybody, it's Tyrolin and Wharton again, and here we are at some more EU4 multiplayer with the Eldorado. Say hi. Hello. Um, in the last one, we finished our war with, our, our craptastic war with Leinster. We finally figured a way to break it, thanks to Provence doing stupid, stupid stuff. Uh, <laughs> they got greedy and uh, I paid for it. Yeah, they literally opened the door to me. Yep. Hey, you should get your uh, trade fleet back out there. I should. Hop along. I'm working, I'm working, I'm working. I need to get them together first, too. Plus, Sweet I switch. Oh, God. The amount of time it takes due to war exhaustion to build more boats. Right. 400 days to build trade boats. That's depressing. I built up quite a bit of war exhaustion in that war. Yeah, you did. A4 is um, quite high, but I was getting sieged there. Yes, you were. <laughs> yes, you were. Okay, so there we go. Starting that up. Yay, and we're making money. I don't have any advisors, but I'm making money. I have advisors. <laughs> claim, claim Lancashire and uh, for mission. Yes. Why? Of course I would love to put a claim on my rival. <laughs> okay. While I'm at it... Oh, I can't insult him right now. Ah, uh, but I can insult Kalei. Give me more power projection. Yay! Can you... Remember, kids, power projection increases your yearly Republican tradition. It does? Holy crap. Yes. By half your total rounded weirdly. I have 24 power projection right now. Yeah, I meant... I just ticked down to 24. Uh, actually, 23. Yeah, I just ticked down to 24. Well, that's nice. Now I'm making some... Actually, I'm losing money. Really? I'm making yeah. like five, five bucks. No, no, I mean, I'm losing money for putting my fleet out there. <laughs> really? Though it said it would give me a plus three. What the hell? Dude. This is going to give me... Hey, you know, what? you know what, This man? is going to be zero to 6.4. You can always go pirate off Sevilla. Well, I'm currently protecting in Sevilla. Oh, do you collect in Sevilla? Yeah. Oh, why are you collecting in Sevilla? Uh, or, no, I'm not. I'm not collecting there. But if I put my fleet there, I get a point, or a six point. Are you protecting trade in Sevilla? Yeah. Why? I don't know. I should pirate. You should. No, you should either pirate. protect trade in Bordeaux or protect trade in Genoa. Those would make sense. Current trade power of 57.4. This fleet will add 52 point... Okay. Go pirate. I mean, once you take over Coimbra, which, by the way, you should be fabricating everything on Coimbra. Uh, oh, they're only allied with Burn. Cool, yeah. No yeah, plus burning. it'd be a way to get to go after Burn. Right. Um, Covert actions. I want... I would love to go after Clay. Aw, oh, my admiral died. Okay, come back home. I need an admiral. Toledo, I hate you and your giant alliance web of doom. It sucks. Because... I mean, they've... Hypothetically, it, it pieces out a, a large chunk of Western Europe, but... Yeah. Fraticelli heretics, huh? Oh, Wow. And marches. Right, marches then. <laughs> the lovely Merchant Republic of Armor is slowly working on his own WMDs. And getting my manpower back. About at half. Silly, intricate. I'm gonna buy this down once, twice, thrice. Mm. And yay, a new military yep. leader. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, yep, yep. Gotta get me my. Keep working on my plutocratic ideas. Yeah, you do. I need I, to get I'm that. looking forward to. So my next one is morale of armies, and then the one after that is national unrest. 
So ships to get across the new sea, you need either light ships or heavy ships, right? So, yeah. So how that works is when you're recruiting... And once you have quests for the new world, you get the ability to recruit, recruit explorers. Right. You need to have three trade ships or three heavy ships in a yes. group... T three or more yes. in the group with the explorer as the, the admiral position. Right. And then that button on the bo the very bottom right, the yep. spyglass one, will open yep. up. Oh, cool. And yep. then you'll be able to do some exploration. Hey, guess what? I have some cogs. Because <laughs> they sunk some of my, my navy in the last one, so I'm like, you know what? I should probably make some cogs. That's not a bad call. Yeah. I know I'm keeping mine around. Normally I blow them up right away, but... With the two of us being allied, I'm like, yeah, no, no, we we actually need them. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes, we do. I'm making some decent money now. Actually, I lost more money. What the hell? Why am I losing money? Oh, I know why. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Fleet maintenance. Keep making more and more. <laughs> Keep making more ships. Yeah. Yeah, like my cogs right now, I've got a mothballed because I don't need them. But oh, good, a five prestige hit. I've been a, I've been a negative prestige this entire game. That's long. always rough too. I got the fun uh, growth of cities attract serfs. It yeah. seems as as if the serfs are moving out of provinces and aim to earn a living in the capital. So you lose yep. one base tax in one province, you gain it in your capital. Yep. And then you gain a autonomy in the one you lost stuff with. Right. Or you can gain stability and lose morale of armies, which I'm not losing morale of armies. No. The interesting part is, is that suddenly makes Kent one of the highest base tax provinces in the game. Huh. Because Cause it's, it's, it's like now five. five. Yeah. Yep. Did my capital do that too? I swear I remember that. Uh, nope, it didn't. Nope, you, haven't, you mustn't have had that event. I swear I had it in this game. Maybe it was a different game. Yeah, none of mine. They're all at four, so never mind. I'm a liar. But yeah, like, that event totally changes how some of this stuff works. It's, uh, by the way, it is going to... The fact that everything is four... Yeah. ...is going to make your colonization efforts a little expensive. Yes, it is. Because instead of being able to kind of ride the wave up and down of ones and fives and then one, 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 five, one, 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 It's going to be a four, four, four. It's four, all four, fours. Four, four. And it's like, here's some money. Hope you have money. Yep. <laughs> Do you need to put troops on... Yeah, you need to put at least 3,000 some troops on a boat, too. No. That. No? Nope. You just explore? Yep. Until you find it, and then and then you can send people across. Oh, there's my solidify... So I just got the solidify papal relations mission. Oh. Not that I'm going to take it. Yeah. Because it's only five prestige. But it's uh, Vraz's opinion of Kent. Oh. So... Wherever that is. Uh, not that button. The papacy button. Um, they had a cardinal. There it is. Where are you? The papacy is in... It's over in Hungary. What? Yep. It, oh, like, yeah, it's right there. Yep. It's the papacy, their Eastern Tech Group. <laughs> <laughs> I Just love it. For the fun yeah, of see, I swear there was a, a rule now that you have to have a papacy. It might not be in the spot where you think it should be, yeah. but you have to have it. <laughs> hey, boats. More boats. More boats. I'm almost done with my fabricated claim. Must rule the English Channel harder. I might fabricate another claim on them right away. <sighs> Stability hit. <sighs> yeah, stab sucks. And it sucks to use points against it. Alright, Lincoln, you know what? You're cute, but... I'm improving relations and annexing you. What's increase over time percentage? The what? For, for like on... an advisor? No, technology. Oh, it's the way so that slowly over the course of the game, 
tech costs, like the raw point tech costs, right. will slowly increase. Hmm. Okay. I, I mean, the reason why it's kind of up in the air, but is what it is. This coring is taking bloody forever. 1468 before it completely cores. I should actually start my cores, shouldn't I? I'm just fabricating claims against Coimbra so I can take it in all one fell swoop. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I held off on coring mine because of my war exhaustion. Right. Because and I, just, I just started it now. Because it's only a 3% penalty instead of a 26. Mm -hmm. What is my war exhaustion at? It shouldn't be that bad. Because I think it's Siege. No, 1.33. Yeah, that's down. I think mine's down around there now, too. Uh, the only thing oh, I mine's had down was... Six. I had... Uh, you lost some troops. I lost some troops, and I had rebels sitting on my land for a while. They never took anything, but... Yep. Oh, yep, 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 yep. Why do you have unrest? You have nationalism. <laughs> Negative stability. Uh, fine. Fine. Oh, God, that hurts. Oh, I don't like pushing that button. I like that. Oh, the stab up button? Yeah, well, I, I don't mind pushing the stab up button, but when I've got only, like, 70 Republican tradition... Yeah, I have 74 yeah, Republican. just way too spendy. Yeah, because it boosts it expensive, yeah. Lack of Republican tradition, plus 50%. Yeah. I needed it, though, because I had um, heretics that have a potential to spawn. Right, and I still have the Leonese. Oh, do you? Yeah, they still are a problem. I, I knocked them down once during the war because they were coming closer at 90%. I'm like, no, we'll we'll spend 50 points. We are ahead of time on all our techs. I don't care. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. As soon as I get these cord and the rest of my war exhaustion goes away, I'll be fine. I just mm -hmm. need to get those done. What do you guys think of me? You... <laughs> okay. You can you? probably kick it back up to speed three. Yeah, while we're waiting. kind of thought so. Yeah, yeah, just during the war that I wanted it down. Right. I'm trying to figure mm -hmm. out who these rebels are that are up in Fife. If they're Highlands know. or if they're English. I don't know. Because if they're see. English rebels... <laughs> yeah. Well, that was my money well spent then. Well, so the trick is... Uh, so, in between in like the two weeks that we had off here, um, mm -hmm. between our uh, first two episodes and now... <laughs> yeah. I, I played a, just a couple of, like, 30, 40 minutes of just test play. Okay. And um, I ended up getting in this war and horribly overextended myself. And I'm like, okay, I need to make sure I... I'm careful about how I do this. Oh, they're Scottish. Dang it. Um, but I just shattered Leinster to the point that they got just huge rubble spawns after the war. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. Well, they were English patriots, so they flipped to Lincoln. <laughs> like, okay, I'm okay with that. Are you working on converting them? I've got improved relations with them. Mm. Oh, okay, that could be interesting. I finally got called into a war because of Flandrin. I just lo lost 33 prestige. Nope. Sorry, Flandrin. Not 30, happening, bro. 33 prestige just out the door because <sighs> of Vent. That sucks. It really does. Alright, so you're allied with me and Toledo. Toledo and I are allied. Okay. Um, Toledo's pretty close. Is there anyone I can pick off as? I don't know. I want to see if there's anyone I can try and, like, just vassalize over on the continent. <laughs> <laughs> it would help you. It would. You get a foothold. Yeah. I mean, realistically, I need to take over the Isles first. Right. It's better to solidify and then look out. Don't be Germany, man. Don't be Germany. No offense to Germany, but World War II, yeah. you could have had it all. Finish one war before you start the next? Yeah. Right, right. Don't ever open up a second front if you can avoid it. Even if you think they're going to attack you. It's better to wait until they attack you. <laughs> one front, two fronts. 
Only an idiot. <laughs> Only the heir to the kingdom of idiots would fight a war on 26 fronts. <laughs> Name that show. Uh, I know it. I know it. I just can't. Babylon 5. Oh. Oh yeah, that's right. I can't I can't school. put a fabrication on their capital. That's right. No, no, but it doesn't matter because their capital's not the not the spot you want. You want Porto and you want Lisboa. Yep, I'm working on Lisboa right now. Because estuary is an important center of trade. And, and blah blah blah. Yeah, I mean that's that those are two of the, the huge part points of that uh, of the Sevilla node alone. Lisa's core is Almost done. <laughs> they must have extended coring or something on them because this is taking forever. Uh, it depends upon um, yay culture. Yeah, like marches. <laughs> so I started both marches and Glamorgan at the same time, right? Yeah. Marches just finished coring. Glamorgan is only halfway, and that's because marches is um. English culture, which is what I am. And I can't do these because of nationalism either, but yeah, it'll be a lot better. That uprising, I either want it to go away. <laughs> well, unrest is at 1.2, and this thing is sitting at 60%. I'm going to check it on the full. Hold on. For who? Leon. Oh, Leon. the Leonese. 30 years. We've got plenty of time. Yeah. Yeah, I would... Anything over 10 years, I just ignore. Just right. enough things change over 10 years, it's not a thing. And what's the other one? Like, I've got one that's sitting at... I got one at 6.6 .6 years. Yeah. I've got one that's sitting at 90%. Yeah. But the only one that has a chance to tick it up is the place I just cored. Right. Well, I just cored it, but it's still pretty bad. Yeah. They are not happy with that. Right. That province now has a war score cost of 12%. Oh, yeah. I know what time it is. It's time to build some troops. Yeah, troops are important. I am waiting for this last... Uh, oh, speaking of revolts. Did you get one? Yeah. Well, yeah. The, the heretics that were sitting at 90%. Yeah, they finally kicked. Yeah, it was like... There's nearly even odds of them sparking. Right. And I lost to them, but that's fine. I will sit back here and rebuild and then go and crush them. Uh, 580, four, 568. One horse. 580. Kind of want to start my overseas exploration. Yeah, um, without Madeira and stuff... You'll have you'll have to see who you can at, where what missions you get to explore. Um, the trick of it is, is, I think you're gonna have to explore parts of Africa. Yeah. Get a colony down there to be able to jump across. Right. Because it's the only way I'm gonna get close. Yep. Yeah, because the way that the exploration missions proc is just by proximity aspects. Well, let's do this. Another election, huh? Oh, there. My new my new guy is a uh, 142 commander. The nice part about re the part I love about republics, <laughs> I really do, is that they're kind of abusive for using your leader as a general. Oh yeah. I mean, you can you get just... you can get caught because like you can have an election while you're in hostile territory and then you lose a general and that's bad, but Right. I mean, you can rotate through cheap generals for quite a while. And for you, like, exploring right now, it's huge. Because right. it's you can still have a general around while you have the, the whole explorer thing. Okay, uh, so we are hitting that time. We are. So thanks again, everybody, for watching. This is Ty Roland and Morton signing off, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Later.